I mean, my style of puppetry in general is sort of inspired by bunraku, which is the Japanese form where you have three people holding a human figure. I think in the West that's become uh, synonymous with any kind of puppetry where you are in contact with it. So obviously I did War Horse here a long time and also The Light Princess. And all of those shows had people that were in physical contact with the puppet. And what I love about that is um, you are visible on stage. So you as the performer alongside with the puppet are taking part in the performance that you're giving to the audience your body is adding to what the puppet is doing as well as that you're also bringing the puppet to life in front of the audience and they can see you doing it so it's like a magician if you like revealing how the trick is done and you still believing in the magic and I kind of love that in terms of how the design of the puppets works with the room uh, it, hopefully it works as a sort of back and forth process Sam who's designed the puppets on this show Sam Wire is amazing and we've worked together on loads of shows together so we already have the shorthand so he comes up with the designs and while they're still in the sort of paper or thought stage we talk, we mess around and we muck about together. And then he, with his team and a bit of help from me, make prototypes. And then we look at it together, moving it around with performers and then back to the drawing board. What worked, what didn't work. These ones are so sort of strange and unusual in how they work. There is always surprises when we put them on stage. Um, but one of the things that we've been doing in order to acclimatize the performers to using the puppets is um, sort of improvising scenes with them. Let them embody moments and spaces that they never would on stage and so seeing what they're capable of and seeing the range of um, unlikely things that they're able to do has been really really exciting and I think it gives us all the more confidence of uh, the details of behaviour that we can put into the show. So hopefully there's a really two-way dialogue between what happens in the, the, the rehearsal room with puppetry and what happens in the design studio.